We begin in Nairobi, where the Law Society of Kenya, LSK, has dismissed critics of the judiciary, accusing them of using the state organ as a soft landing to mask failures of institutions they lead in the fight against graft. LSK chairperson Isaac Okero says in the last few years, the judiciary has become the convenient whipping boy in the fight against corruption, asking stakeholders to take responsibility for their lapses instead of pointing fingers at the corridors of justice. In the county of Tana River, three assault rifles have been surrendered to the authorities following a campaign to recover illegal weapons in the clash prone area. The weapons that included two AK-47 and a G-3 rifle were voluntarily handed over to the authorities by locals at Waldena location. The latest moves brings to six the firearms surrendered in Tana River sub-counties. Authorities promised the locals that those who heed to the government's call that they would be considered in the ongoing exercise of enlisting additional national police reservists to help in combating crime in the area. <laughs> Elsewhere in West Pokot County, divisions have emerged among members of Pokot Council of Elders over the installation of West Pokot County Senator Professor John Lonyangapuo as the community's spokesperson. While a section of the elders have denounced the move, another group has endorsed it, saying the support for the senator remains solid. <laughs> And finally, the Ministry of Tourism is in the process of developing the National Tourism Strategy 2030 to guide the development and management of the sector. Tourism Principal Secretary Fatuma Hirsi says the Ministry will be reaching out to the counties to give their inputs on the best way to manage the tourism sector. Hirsi, who spoke while opening a National Tourism Strategy workshop in Garissa County, said the region has the potential to boost the growth of the tourism sector due to its unique tourism attractions. Why can't we have the same? Because we are a desert environment and it can be adventure tourism for other people. But we also have the Somali people living in this region and we are very hospitable. So we can feel that we can invite people, they come and learn our culture and our traditions and we have a lot to offer.